Hello everybody, good morning or good night or you know, whatever time you're in. In this video, we're going to do our daily quests, get our seasonal candles, our treasure cakes, and get information on today's shard event, starting with the season candles. So we have our first one up here, and the rest can be found below. Now we have four of these to find, and each one will give us 25% of the wax needed to forge a season candle. Here's our second one. So finding all four of these will give us one total season candle. The next two are just beyond this gate, and I think the next gate as well. Fap, fly, just across here for our third. And once again, I like to fly up. Boink. And we're gonna find this one at the very end. I see it. Just ignore that shiny boy there. I'll get it eventually. That is our fourth one, which should give us one total season candle to forge. With that collected, let's get started on today's daily quests. The sapling can be found just at the very bottom of the cloud tunnel towards the left hand side. All we have to do is admire it, and to do that, we just have to stand next to it and wait 60 seconds. Let's take a little sit and We'll wait until it's done. Today's spirit to relive is the Marching Adventurer. We can find this spirit in the Forest Brook area just towards the left. This is sort of above where the Shy Spirit is, the Blushing Prospector, I think their name is. This one is pretty easy to relive, um, but you do want to look out for the rain, of course. Lots of rain and not a whole lot of coverage in this area. All we have to do is follow them and then go across this little beam, this little piece of wood here, and we are done. For the Hoop Scavenger Hunt, we can find this quest in the Broken Bridge area of the forest. This one is pretty easy, I think. I actually really love when this quest comes around, but I understand some people might not like it. It's very interactive, and it takes a minute or two to finish, so I get that. If you're having difficulty in the rain, you can always complete the Broken Bridge, and that will stop the rain in this area as well. But this one is nice. All we have to do is follow the trails of birds, which will charge us as we go through them and gather all of these hoop pieces. It's really fast if you have two players, you can go in two separate directions, but this is just me today. As you can see, I did not turn off the rain. That is always an option for you, especially if you have difficulties flying. My best advice is just to stay in the path of these birds for most of it. They will charge you as we fly along. And yeah, like I said, I really enjoy when we have this quest. I feel like it's something different, something fun, something more interactive, but I definitely see how some people might not like that. All we have to do is go all around this area, stay in the path of the birds, and make our way back to the treehouse, basically. We're going to do a big loop.
To knock over five crabs, all we have to do is go near them and do a large shout by holding on your character. Today's rotating treasure candles can be found in the Valley of Triumph. Our first one is up here in the social space and the rest are all below. Our second one is just by the ice rink right here. And our third one is in the next area in the citadel. Just towards the very end of the citadel. And our fourth and final one is at the very end of the race in the Colosseum. We can find it on the right hand side of the Colosseum today. And that is all four treasure candles. Today's shard event is a red shard that should fall in Wasteland's graveyard. So I'm just going to show you how we can get there. We just have to pass this krill over here and go into the big room ahead. That is the graveyard and it's a little intimidating because of all the krill. Unfortunately, I don't have any recordings of this location. I really wish I did because I know it's a bit intimidating and scary for some people. But there are two locations I know of that it can fall and I'll show you what both of those locations are. They are free of krill, which is nice. The times on the screen are when the shards will fall. Um, this is in PDT or PSD time. If you want to convert it into your own time zone, I do have a time zone converter in the description with the times. So I believe one of the shard locations is up here, which is nice because Krill cannot spot you up here. So this is a great location for the shard to fall. And then let me just collect that, recharge my wings. Our next shard location could be over here. Woo! basically behind where this other winged light is. And I believe that Krill can't spot you here either, which is pretty cool. So Krill shouldn't be a problem, but again, I don't have a recording and I don't know if I've ever collected a shard here. Ugh. I will have one next time it's here though. So yeah, basically all I have to share is the shard timing and the possible locations. Good luck today. And of course you should get some ascended candles because it is a red shard. And that is it for today's Daily Changes in Sky. Thank you guys so much as always for watching. Hope you found this helpful. Hope you enjoyed. And I will, of course, see you in the next video. Bye-bye!